Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting off my yearly favorites videos. So I'm gonna do two favorites videos and this look using some of my favorites. So today I'm gonna start with makeup. Um, either tomorrow or the next day it's going to be like skin and hair and other stuff and then a day or two after that it'll be this look. One other thing I should mention is that um, the products that I am featuring in this video are not necessarily new. Um, I'm not just doing products that came out in 2018. A lot of them are products that were released in 2018. Um, but I'm also featuring products that came out in previous years that I discovered this year and stuff that's been out for a long time. Some of this stuff I've had for a long time, I believe. Um, but I still, I loved it. I just loved it in 2018. So. These are products that I loved in 2018, not necessarily things that were released in 2018. So let's start with base products. I have, I have a lot of them. I got, I got a lot. Okay, let's start with Too Faced. So Too Faced, Too, Too, mm, here we go. This is gonna be a long video. Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation and the Peach Perfect uh, Mattifying Loose Setting Powder infused with peach and sweet fig cream. So these were gifted to me. Um, they were gifted by a Beauty News subscriber. Both Kat and I ended up uh, with these to play with and I fucking love them. I love them. They're great. This foundation is... Um, I would call it a medium coverage. If you have quite good skin, it's going to give you a really, really like spot on um, coverage. It's not too heavy. It's not too thick. Um, you can see some little imperfections come through the skin, so it still looks like actual skin. You can wear it on camera. It looks great. In person, it looks great. And it wears fantastically through oils which is great it doesn't break down and become chunky or cakey looking or disgusting um the only downside to it that i know of is that it doesn't touch up very well so if i wear sunglasses and i end up with sunglasses marks in here uh they're there to stay basically until i wash the foundation off um or if something else happens and it's the makeup is disrupted uh, it's hard to fix, so that's a bit of a downside. The powder is beautiful. This this foundation is a bit tacky on the skin, um, and the powder just works so well with it to like bring down that tackiness and set it properly without having to add heaps and heaps of powder to your face. This is also huge, huge, 35 grams. This will last you so long. It's so good. I will definitely, this is almost done. I do plan on uh, finishing this off in 2019 and I will buy another one of these because I love it. It's my go-to when I need my foundation to last all day and I don't want to have to worry about it. Another one that wears so damn well and looks beautiful in all situations, on camera, in real life, for like just a hint of coverage or if you want to build it up to a bit more of a full coverage, is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear. Mine is a shade 032. This stuff is great. It wears so well on oily skin, but it's comfortable. It doesn't suck the life out of your skin. Anyone who has oily skin and who gravitates towards like matte, long wearing foundations, I'm sure at some stage you have experienced um, a foundation or a powder that feels like it's sucking everything out of your skin. Just because we're oily doesn't mean we want our skin to feel dry and tight and uncomfortable. And it's foundations like this and the Too Faced Peach Perfect that 
make me feel like I don't have to put up with shit foundations like that. I can wear stuff like this that's really comfortable but is designed to stand the test of time through oil production throughout a day. This stuff is fantastic. It's another one that I would repurchase in a heartbeat without even questioning it. It's great stuff. Let's talk about dewy foundations. Um, I just spoke about having oily skin. You might think that someone with oily skin would not want a dewy foundation or would not be suitable to, like your skin wouldn't be suitable to wear a dewy foundation or dewy foundation wouldn't be suitable for oily skin. Um, but I am 34. Uh, my skin is you know starting to show signs of aging and although I get an oily t-zone the rest of my skin is quite normal and can actually be even dry at some times and um, I still like a dewy foundation because I feel like the radiance that a dewy foundation gives you is really beautiful and I just realized I look naked I'm not naked I'm just a bit off the shoulder um, Okay, so dewy foundations, I do love them, but they often when like oil starts to come through, um, they can break down. They start to look like chunky and cakey and ugh, not good. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This stuff is stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. I, I love this. Um, this is another one that I will keep in my collection. I've got 204 and 207. Um, 204 is almost empty. I've nearly finished it. I would consider it my kind of winter shade. It does, it oxidizes. Uh, they both do. 207 I would consider my summer shade. 204 kind of my winter shade but it oxidizes a little bit dark. Um, I do feel like the shade range on this needs to be uh, expanded even more. I believe they did expand it in 2018 but mm, this look I love this foundation and I want it to stay on the market. I want it to be a popular product because I don't want it to go away because I've not found a dewy foundation that will stand up against my oily skin and win the battle basically and this stuff does so it's fantastic. I love it um yeah i what can i say i love it if you've got oily skin and you're getting a little bit older and um you are getting over that hardcore matte thing that a lot of us with oily skin have to deal with um this might be one that you want to try out even when you set this with a powder you still get that radiant glow through the powder it it's really beautiful. I love this foundation. Fantastic stuff. Another sort of radiant foundation that I tried this year was the Shuomura uh, Petal Perfect. Is it? Mm, yeah, Petal Skin, sorry. Petal Skin Cushion Foundation. <laughs> Not that you can see it. Um, so I have the shade 564 Medium Light Sand. And this is... This is absolutely beautiful. If you do not have oily skin, I would highly recommend this. Like, highly recommend this. It doesn't hold up well under oil production. It does break down. But good fucking lord, this just looks so beautiful on the skin. I don't think I've seen a foundation look this pretty on the skin in a long time um it just it looks like a second skin it looks like your skin but uh not perfect it like improved um it's radiant on the face it does set down quite well on its own um you if you let it sort of set and do its thing uh, you only need a tiny bit of powder to set it. Products go over the top of it so beautifully and it gives that skin a radiant glow and I just love it. However, it doesn't hold up well with 
like oil production so this is the type of thing that you know if I just want to feel pretty for a little while say I'm going to run some errands but I still have time to like do my makeup in the morning and I want to go through that ritual of applying my makeup this is actually what I use and I like this so much that I they sell this in a cushion and they sell it in a bottle I've purchased the bottle it's coming my way even though this is not what I would consider a long wear foundation I love the finish and the look of this so much that I want to keep it in my collection I do find um, the cushion like the cushion thing is a bit annoying for me um, I just I can't be bothered with it I prefer to like pump it out of a bottle or pour it out of a bottle um, and just apply it to my face but wow this stuff amazing another powder that I have here is the hourglass veil translucent setting powder this mm, this is stunning um, but unfortunately it's not it's not perfect for me um, so this is a like a setting powder as I said translucent setting powder it's not matte but it's not like shimmery it's not like their um, ambient lighting powders this has a very subtle glow to it it's beautiful doesn't accentuate pores or texture or anything like that doesn't highlight it glows um, and it looks like a glow from within it is stunning I love to pair this with the Shuamora powder uh, Shuamora um, cushion compact Fuck, it's so so beautiful on the skin um, my problem with this is that when my oils start to come through it it really breaks down it breaks down really really quickly which is a shame um, but I think although I would not recommend this to people with oily skin I would recommend this to people with normal or dry skin okay it is really really beautiful on the skin how many times can I say skin 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 concealer my favorite concealer of the year was the Lancome tint idol ultra wear this stuff is it's it's hardcore it is hardcore um, this a tiny 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 bit of this will go a really really long way you only need a speck you only need a speck the coverage is really good but it's not so thick and cakey and so full coverage that you get lost underneath it um, your skin still has an opportunity to shine through and it's like it, it just perfects the skin it doesn't cover everything it just improves what's already good about your skin and helps to hide the things that aren't great which is exactly what a concealer should do but it does it so well not all concealers do their job well I'm sure many of you will know what I'm talking about but this one is fantastic if Lancome is not on your radar for base products I would highly recommend next time you're at like passing by a Lancome counter just to like have a look have a look at what's going on there because they are doing things and those things are definitely not bad two more things in my base category these are budget products they are from Ulta 3 they are the lightening and darkening drops so lightening and darkening foundation drops or color adjusting drops for foundations are not new um, we've seen they've been out for years and we've seen many of them um, the reason these are in my favorites is because they've done them so well they are so effective and they are so cheap um, I use both of them I think they're fantastic the great thing about these is that they don't change the consistency of your foundation so if you have a full cover foundation that's too light for you you can take some darkening drops and pop it in there and you are still going to have the foundation that you know and love for its formula and its coverage and its finish but it's going to be slightly darker because that's all you did you just added some color depth to it um, 
if you have a foundation that you know and love and is perfect except it's too dark for you you want the lightning drops and it's just going to bring like the color of the foundation down a shade or two depending on how much you add but it doesn't affect the formula of the foundation and that is that's the key that's what you want from shade or like yeah from shade adjusting drops from darkening and lightening drops you just want it to adjust the color but not the formula and that's exactly what these do and they're so affordable these are fantastic they're so good I've actually got um, some more from Essence which um, I haven't tried yet but I hope to try in a video coming up at some stage um, and I, I hope they're great because these are great maybe they're great and then I'll have four lots of great instead of two lots of great it'll be great I'm going to stray a little bit and I'm going to talk about a whole thing this big thing happened in 2018 it was look I don't, how do I explain it other than a Mac and Patrick Star thing so Mac and Patrick Star teamed up this year to create like 6,000 different collections I have about 3,000 of them sitting in my lap um, and actually I'm gonna stop right here and just do a shout out most of these were sent to us by an anonymous beauty news uh, subscriber and viewer and I thank you I thank you from the bottom of my heart because I I really love everything that he released um, with Mac this year I'm it, I just feel like it was done so so well um, I'm actually before I get on to like the the stuff I'm going to talk about the holiday things. Um, I actually purchased these myself. Lipstick, this one is in Spank Me Santa and this is Patrick's Powder. Now my favourite thing is the lipstick. The lipstick is all sorts of stunning. The colour is perfection. Uh, the packaging is insane. It's like crushed foil that was like crushed up and then flattened out and encapsulated in glossy brilliance it's amazing it's absolutely stunning the powder look the powder is his powder it's good powder um but the packaging on this like they dropped the ball they really did drop the ball the quality is not there on this one and i would say out of all of the things that i am about to show you um this is probably where the most disappointment lies with his releases. Okay, I don't know exactly what collections these are all called, but look, we're just gonna go through it. Um, oh man, look, it's just gonna be a whole lot of me going, oh my God, it's so beautiful. So I'm just gonna shut up and start showing you things. Um, eyeshadow quads, there are a bunch of eyeshadow quads. Um, which I, I should, maybe I'll just, look, let me show you the eyeshadow quads first. Um, there was, I believe this one with this packaging was it, was it destination or something to do with travel? I know it was something to do with travel, but these are stunning. Look at them. They're like cool tone glory. Oh oh so beautiful it's over and i'm so sad and this beautiful warm tone thing mm, look at that red so yeah i i am smitten i'm smitten with these um eyeshadow quads i think they were all done so well um granted mac quality can be a bit hit or miss but when we're talking about color stories and cohesive little quads these were fantastic and I'm so so pleased that I was able to add these to my collection this year they're just mm, I love them there was also the blush duo so this is the take me home duo <clears throat> this is a gorgeous gorgeous color um, it's deceptively pigmented that's all I can say uh, there's also this bronzer this is give me life and when I saw this I was a bit concerned that it was a little bit uh, to warm um, on the orange spectrum 
but it's actually not. I'm wearing it today. I think it looks quite nice. Um, and when it goes on the skin, it almost brings out these beautiful... I don't want to say this and have it scare you, even though I don't think these are available anymore, but it's almost got these like reddish blush tones within the bronzer. It's fucking beautiful. They're just stunning. Stunning. Um, and then we have the hot and heavy opalescent face powder. Look at that. Look at that pan. Fuck. Look, I just think he did so well. I think he did so well. And every time we would open a package on Beauty News and there would be a Mac Patrick Star collection in there, I was just like, eee, this is the, the best. The best! From all of those collections, I also ended up with a bunch of lip products. So, nudes and reds, both wearable reds, nothing crazy there, and then gorgeous wearable nudes. Uh, there's a cool tone, warm tone, and like a mid-toned nude, which is fantastic. And then I have another nude lipstick. This one's stunning. This is the shade Sweet Mama Star, very wearable. And then this fun, gorgeous, sparkly lip gloss. And look, it looks a bit scary, but it's surprisingly wearable. Dab a little bit over a lipstick or a matte liquid lipstick or even just on bare lips. It works. It works. I think you did so well. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm sad that it's over. I'm sure he'll do more in the future with MAC. Um, I imagine it would have been a bit of a cash cow for both of them in 2017. So I won't be surprised if there's another collection that pops up sometime in... Did I say 2017? I meant 18. God, here we go. It started. Um, I won't be surprised if another collection pops up in 2019 um, for the people like me who were obsessed. Ah, okay, I actually have a tool in here and I've got the rest of my tools in my skin and hair and all that other thing box. But let's talk about these because they're here. This one's dirty, these clean. These are the Ella Cosmetics Beauty Sponges. These are fantastic. They're so good. It's a latex-free makeup sponge. They expand quite nicely, as you can see, quite big. Um, they've, they're like a beauty blender within their shape, but then they've got a f single flat edge. Um, they are pillowy soft. It's, uh, the softness is what gets me about these. The softness and the shape. Um, the first time I experienced a sponge that was this soft, it was a flower beauty sponge. That was also sent to us by a subscriber. And I still use that. I love it. The, the, like, density and the softness of that sponge is just perfect to me. I think it's it's immaculate. Um, but the shape of this is much more user-friendly than the Flower Beauty sponge. I love these. They're fantastic. Well done, Ella Cosmetics. I'm so, like, I'm so proud of you guys. New Holy Grail makeup sponge right here. Fucking love it. I'm going to talk about more eyeshadow palettes, and I'm getting a vibe what am i missing look i will probably remember what i'm missing when i'm editing and i'll kick myself then but for now let's continue um i'm gonna start with suva beauty wow i had the opportunity to discover suva beauty this year thanks to suva beauty they sent us um pr packs with their block party palette uh, and their hydra liners. Are they? Yes, hydra liners. Um, and then they sent us the saffron palette with their matte liquid lipsticks. Let me go get some because I don't think I have any here. Okay, matte liquid lipsticks. So these are the moisture matte liquid lipsticks. And um, I believe they've sent us nearly all of them. They did have a, a very small release, I think, which they, they didn't send, which is fine. I'm not, not saying anything. I'm just, I'm just saying I have almost a full collection and I fucking love them. Um, my favorite, my favorite, if I'm just going to pick one shade to talk about, it's going to be Bad Nam. 
This was released with the Saffron palette. Mmm, so pretty. The colour, the colour of this is gorgeous. Just, oh. It's fucking stunning. Uh, the formula of these is really thin. It is very, very comfortable. It doesn't suck the life out of your lips and they're easy to touch up. Now, they don't wear super, super well like they're not gonna last 12 hours on the lips and look immaculate at the end of the day personally i don't care about that that doesn't bother me if the formula is comfortable and i can wear it for 12 hours without wanting to scratch my lips off my face we're on to a winner as far as i'm concerned um but they touch up beautifully. They're, I love them. They're fantastic. Uh, I'm supposed to be talking about the palettes, but I'm going to talk about their Hydra liners. These are great as well. Um, with the Saffron palette, they also released some new metallic shades. I've got Bad Mash here. These look, they look very unassuming in their little pots, but once they go on the eye, wow, they are, they're special. This one, back was this is like a rose gold copper and it just looks like magic on the eyes like it is beautiful it is simple yet interesting and super effective at like catching interest with your makeup i i love it these little hydro liners are fantastic and i hope to add more to my collection in uh 2019 back to the palettes so i nearly dropped block party i would have cried block party was the first one that i tried and i used boombox and dancing shoes they were like the first two shades that i played with and i was floored i was floored with their quality they go on the eye jesus they go on so pigment rich that it's it's i don't understand i've never seen i matte eyeshadows these colors work so well you put on a tiny bit and they just like they will blend forever you can blend and blend and blend you can drag those colors beyond anything that you would ever expect with just a tiny bit of pigment they are absolutely outstanding they also don't muddy they don't crease they don't fade they're not patchy when that is a massive issue with colors like this they go on the skin patchy these don't they're just so good they're so good i'm so so impressed by suva beauty's quality with this palette saffron palette this mm, Okay, I feel like with this palette, the real magic lies with the metallic shades. So these guys here, the mattes are nice in this palette, but I don't feel like they're quite as good as what was in the Block Party palette. I don't know why, maybe it's like the color of the pigment or I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but um, they're not bad not bad by any means i just didn't feel like they were quite as magical like these are magic these are just good quality eyeshadows if you know what i'm saying but i feel like the quality of this does not detract from the quality of this this is not bad this is just strangely outstanding okay another palette that i received in pr Bizarre Grand Pro Volume 2. Um, when I saw images for this, I peed my pants a little bit. Um, my bird's making a very strange noise. Sorry about that. Don't know what, what's he doing. So this palette, um, we did a, we raved about this in Beauty News and then we did a wish list video um, on Beauty News and this was one of the palettes that we talked about and they actually sent us both a palette each muse beauty pro sorry muse beauty pro so they are um a retailer for Vizart. and oh man i just i like i can't even 
I can't even tell you like how excited I was to receive this. It's just I would never have bought this because by the time you did like currency conversion and shipping and all that stuff it was just it was so much money um, I believe Muse Beauty Pro do have free international shipping over I'll put it on the screen the correct information will be up here so pay attention to that not what's coming out of here um, but now pay attention to what's coming out of here this is fucking amazing this is beautiful this is so Mm. The palette, the palette contains a bunch of similar color families. So you've got like yellows and greens and blues and reds and pinks and purples, but they're all in like different finishes and color shifts. So you've got like duochromes, you've got sort of glittery shades. Then we've got straight up metallics, uh, more duochromes, more glittery shades. It, it's just everything that you need in color and interesting finishes within a palette is here it's done so well I I just love this and I feel like looking at it you can get a little bit of analysis paralysis but once you start dipping into colors everything just starts to come together and make sense I just I love it I love this palette and I've got my eye on the Vizart Koi palette at the moment. And I think, I don't know, I'm kind of tempted. Nars. Nars, another expensive one. Um, I bought this for the packaging because I'm obsessed with Nars limited edition packaging. I actually have a Nars limited edition packaging video coming up at some stage in the future um, this one was holiday 2018 release I purchased it for the packaging I was a bit iffy about like I like the colors I like all the colors individually but I didn't see this being a cohesive palette for me um, until I got it home and I used it and holy fuck this I love this palette. I love this palette. All of these shades will make a beautiful look together. It's stunning. The quality is really good as well. Um, um, I've had some issues with NARS eyeshadow quality in the past, um, but this, don't, don't be afraid of this. Don't be afraid of this. This is great quality, beautiful packaging, and a really interesting and surprisingly cohesive color story inside there. Good shit. Another palette favourite of mine this year is the Bare Minerals Aurora Lights. Uh, this is probably the most colourful palette that I own from Bare Minerals. Um, I do, like I've got a couple of palettes that have like some pops of colour in them, but if we're talking about colourful, um, this is as close as it gets to a colourful palette that I personally own from Bare Minerals. Um, what I love about this palette is the formula and the colour story. Um, I think the only the only place it's lacking for me is maybe like one more mid-toned matte shade. There are some light shades, you've got two here, you've got a pretty lavender, you've got this mid-tone and then you've got two dark ones. I would have liked to see one more mid-toned matte in there, probably could have swapped it out for like one of these two or that one there um, or even that one there. Um, but. I just love it. I love it. The quality is great and the colour story is pretty. While we're talking about eyeshadows, let's talk about more eyeshadows. I've got a problem. Um, these are Dawn Eyes Cosmetics The Premiums. So these are the chameleon pigments or the multi-chrome pigments. Um, Kat and I were very, very lucky to be sent the whole collection of their premiums along with some other items from Dawn Eyes range um, and we split them and then um, on Black Friday, Kat and I both ordered um, a couple more of the premiums that like the ones that I had that she wanted and vice versa. Um, so I have expanded my collection a little bit. How many do I even have here? Five. I've got 11. I have 11 premiums. Is that correct? My God, what am I doing with my life? Fuck. I'm dropping them. That's what I'm doing with my life. Yes, I, I have 11 of their premiums. Um, these are beautiful. I'm actually wearing one on my eyes today. Which one is it? It is mysterious. This one. It's 
gorgeous. It goes from a teal to a purple to a beautiful royal blue. It's stunning. Um, you can apply these just to a standard primer. They're very pretty. You can apply them with a glitter glue. They are very pretty. You can apply them wet. They're very pretty. If you use Dawn Eyes Fixative, um, these uh, take on a slightly like next level color shift and richness. Um, unfortunately, and hang on, let me put these down and find it. Here I have the Gleam Shadow Fixative. And unfortunately, mine has dried out and thickened up. So this is quite a thin fluid type product. Um, and you can just like tap it on the eye and then before it sets, you tap a pigment over it. They also have one for glitter. They work very, very well. Um, and they do help to enrich the pigment and the color shift and hold everything in place. Um, I'm not sure why mine dried up. Um, I, I don't think it's because I didn't have the, the lid on properly because it's like, I can't even get it off now and maybe I screwed it on too tightly. I don't know. Um, I wonder if potentially because it's got a, an eyedropper applicator or a dropper applicator, um, if potentially the seal between the cap here and the dropper squeezy bit um, is not airtight. Uh, I've seen that happen with the Cover FX custom cover drops um, or the custom enhancer drops. So maybe it's that, I don't know, but I think this is a great product. I just think maybe it needs to be in a different, maybe a different packaging, but doesn't detract from the product. The product is fantastic. So if you have something similar to this or this particular product, you are going to get something a little bit extra out of those premium pigments um, that you won't get from uh, primer, glitter glue, or water, basically. Let's continue with Dawn Eyes, because I did a thing. I did a slightly crazy thing. It's a glitter thing. Um, so again, Black Friday, um, I had to do it. <laughs> this picture made me do it. Um, I bought glitters, like a lot of glitters, um, and I love them. I'm wearing one today. I am wearing absinthe, which is, wait, help, send help. I need another hand, please. Absinthe, which is this one. It looks like a white translucent glitter and it shifts pink, purple, and a really beautiful sort of aqua, tealy, bluey green. It's stunning. Um, I picked up a lot of their like pastel colors and color shifty. Mm -hmm. They're really pretty. Like, I feel like glitter is, you know, you can, you can get beautiful um, eye safe glitter in a lot of places. Um, a lot of brands do them. But Dawn Eyes got me this year and I'm not mad about it. I'm actually very pleased with myself. So the premiums and the glitters have been very prominent in my life recently. Um, I'm wearing them a lot while I'm sort of kind of on holiday. Um, just putting makeup on my face around the house and being like, look at me, I'm fucking fabulous. Um, but yeah, the quality is there with Dawn Eyes and I am so excited to see what they do in 2019. I have a couple more eyeshadows. Um, I want to talk about the MAC uh, Shiny Pretty Shadows that were released for holiday 2018. Um, these are definitely shiny and very, very pretty. Um, so I picked up all of them and I'm, I'm actually going to say the one that I was a bit iffy about, I'm going to narring, was, uh, Just Chillin'. This is a silver. It's so beautiful. Um, I'm actually, look, I'm just going to jump ahead and I'm going to, I'm just going to do, do this. If you take a silver glitter eyeshadow or silver glitter or silver eyeshadow or whatever and you pop that all over the lid with whatever you want in the crease or the outer corner do whatever do you boo and then you take either a purple 
or a red toned metallic liner, you are going to have some sort of fucking, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but silver and red or silver and purple on the eye when everything's sparkly and metallic, holy shit and fuck. Like, I can't even tell you that, that, that is, that is beautiful. It is stunning. It is amazing. I love it. It's gorgeous. I, everyone needs to do this. If I was queen of the world, the first order would be everybody has to wear sparkly silver eyeshadow and red or purple metallic eyeliner. It's beautiful. Okay, back to these eyeshadows. So they're very sparkly. They're very pretty. I do think that they probably could have put a little bit more effort into making sure that they all looked very different on the eye. So people who are a little bit um, crazy and wanted to buy them all and also a little bit, you know, daring and wanted to wear all of them at the same time would be able to see very um, clear color differences. Um, but when you take like uh, Joy 2, which is a purple, uh, Major Win, which is a pink, and then P for pink, which is also a pink, uh, when you take those three on the eye, they just kind of all look the same, which is a shame. But individually, they're very beautiful. And um, if MAC did more of these, I would... I would buy them. Let's face it. I would. I love these. They're really, really pretty. Help me, I like glitter. There's a lot of MAC in this video, and there's one more thing. <laughs> this is Snow Flushed. So this is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish from the Holiday 2018 collection. This is um, a 10 gram pan of Stylishly Mary, essentially. Um, if you don't know what Stylishly Mary is, uh, it was released for holiday 2017 um, and it was a gorgeous eyeshadow that looked exactly like this. Um, I purchased that and properly lost it. Uh, and I have been searching for it ever since. I have not found it. Hopefully, hopefully 2019 will be the year that I find it because I plan on moving my filming space, which is currently in my bedroom and takes up a lot of space, uh, into another area. And um, I'm hoping during that sort of move and massive clean out that I will stumble across it. Um, <laughs> Hopefully, maybe. Uh, but this is stunning. I love this and I'm very glad that they released this because it was my only way of replacing my Stylishly Mary and now I have 10 fucking grams of it. I'm not mad about it. Um, another highlighter release that I want to talk about is this. This is the Smashbox Vlada MUA Petal Metal Highlighter in prismatic petal. This is similar yet different uh, to Stylishly Merry. It is more pink toned uh, and the gold in it is more orangey and peach. So we've got Stylishly, no not Stylishly Merry, we have um, Snow Flushed up the top and prismatic petal down the bottom. So they are similar but different. Uh, the formulas are quite similar though. Um, it is a sparkly, quite dry micro glitter that has a color shift. It's gorgeous. I love it. I really love the uh, Smashbox Ladder collection from this year. I loved everything. Let's move on to another highlighter. This is my last highlighter, which is good. Uh, <laughs> Becca. This is uh, the Berlin Girl Glow that was created in collaboration with Hattice Schmidt. And this is stunning. This is just, it's a beautiful, beautiful highlight. Um, it is a nude base with a cool toned, ever so slightly blue silvery shift. It is stunning. It looks gorgeous on the skin. I am wearing it today. It's kind of like a wet look highlighter um, with those beautiful cool tones, but the cool tones don't make you look ashy or strange, even if you've got warm undertones like me. It just, it looks beautiful. Um, I would say that this is 
Becca's best highlighter um, and I'm gonna give all of those props to Hatice because this was the one that she created with them and finally they got it right don't get me wrong I do like Becca highlighters they've just never been my favorite I feel like they were um, they would just show up so much texture on the skin um, I didn't really like their formulation because of that and it was never a brand that I reached for a lot in my collection I purchased a lot because they were so pretty when you would swatch them and look at them but functionally they weren't they weren't up there in my stash until this happened and this is great this is a beautiful highlighter I would say it's one of the best of 2018 for sure let's do let's do JD glow because I already sort of held these up and pointed at them um, JD glow liquid gel liners they have them in a multi chrome finish a metallic finish and they also have their neon liners these are lovely these are just beautiful they're so fun they the formula is really good um, the metallic liners are a liquid gel like the uh, multi-chrome liners they if you apply too much of them they can pucker they can lift they can peel um, I have you know in the early days of using these I would you know put on a lot of them and let it dry and then when I would go in with my mascara it would actually grab the liner from the base of my eye and peel it off so you can apply too much of these and um, fuck up the application but if you get it right you won't be disappointed they are beautiful uh, the neon ones they can like they dry completely matte and they can crumble um, I don't feel like they last super super well especially on that you know on your eye because your eye is constantly moving and blinking and all that stuff um, it, it can be a little bit problematic when it comes to long wearing or longevity basically but the effect that they give is something special the effect that they give is something that nothing else in my collection gives nothing else that I like I, they're just they they're like nothing else they're like nothing else they're really special and I love them and the multi-chromes uh, they I bought the full set when they launched and then they re-released them without oil spill which is the red one apparently this was the one that like was the least best selling so they discontinued it I think that's a shame because it's a really beautiful color um, but they reformulated them so that they had the maximum amount of like the color pigment in them so that they would go on more opaque and you know what I did I went and bought those as well so I have a backup set um, and if they release more of the metallics more of the neons more of the chameleon ones i'm gonna be ready i'm ready for my body i'm ready with my fucking bank card take my money jd glow and give me your liquid gel liners oh my god i can see the light at the end of the tunnel let's do some more eye products so these lashes eye lure these are the Lux solitaire lashes i have been using these for months I only have one pair I cut them in half um, the first pair uh, I was trying to like clean one of the lashes and I must have um, grabbed like the old glue too close to the base of the lash and I pulled some of the lashes off the lash band so I destroyed one pair and this last pair which I'm wearing today um, I've been using for at least two months I love them I love them I love them I love them um, I wish I didn't have so many false lashes in my collection because I would just buy these I would buy these and live off them um, they're perfect for me these are not like the shape of these is not an innovative shape it's 
everywhere. You see it everywhere. It's short on either end and then long in the center. But what makes them so perfect for me is the fact that when you cut them dead in the center, they are the perfect length to come like just a tiny bit more in than uh, like the half of my eye. So I like my lashes not to sit just on the outer corner or just on half, but slightly in a little bit further. And also the length on the outside is a perfect length. Not too short, not too long. You know, sometimes you get the short on either end, long in the middle, and when you cut them in half, they still look absurdly large for your eye or they just get lost in with your natural lashes and neither of them is necessarily a bad thing it's just not what I want from like an everyday pair of lashes and you know I've I've got lashes that are similar in shape and I cut them in half and they do get lost in my lashes so I will wear them when I'm like you know just going out with friends but I still want to look pretty and I want to like densen up my lash line a little bit um, but these ones are perfect for everything they're perfect for going to the supermarket yes sometimes I wear lashes to the supermarket because I like it um, they're perfect for filming they're just they're perfect I love them they are everyone has their perfect set of lashes and this year I found mine but I dead set have like I don't know, maybe 40 pairs of false lashes sitting around in my stash. And all I want is these. That's it. That's all. That's all I want. I love them. They're perfect. Recent discovery from Shuamura are the Water Paint Ink Liners. So I have them in three shades. I've got purple, red, and a light blue. And these are... Mm, they're deceptive. When you put them on, um, they don't look like much. Actually, that one, the purple looks not too bad. Let's do the red and the blue. Um, so they don't look like they pack a lot of punch with their pigment. Um, but when they go on the eye, somehow they deepen up while still maintaining those beautiful colors and they're defining enough to actually look like an eyeliner um i really like them i love the formula of these they have a brush tip which i personally love and seek out when it comes to eyeliners um and they last really well japanese eyeliners typically do uh, because they're made for people uh, with mono lids and often there is a lot of skin rubbing um, so they look they're great there's been a lot of gems um, that I've loved from Shuamura this year even more coming up in my skincare video as well um, yeah so look release more Shuamura so I can give you money Two mascaras, uh, one that's new this year and one that I discovered this year. So Benefit Roller Lash. I really like this mascara. It lengthens, defines, it's very black. It doesn't, mm, it can clump, but if you're careful, you can have no clumping. I really like it. I actually bought a backup of this because I was like, I don't want to not have this. I like this mascara very 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 much it also wears really well um doesn't i have i have a bit of an issue with uh mascara transferring um on the skin under my eye or up on my brow bone so if a mascara does that for me it's straight out i won't have it i can't deal with it i hate it um roller lash doesn't do it and i really like that my only issue with roller lash is is that this is a really sticky formula so when this dries it's still really sticky like annoyingly sticky um i when i apply false lashes I like to take a pair of lash tweezers and push the false lash into my natural lash, like bring them right together um, so that they like they look like natural lashes, the false lashes look natural. Um, and with this, my tweezers will actually stick to the lashes underneath here. And um, when I pull it away, it like 
I've pulled out lashes before. It's sticky. It's really sticky. So that is something that I dislike about it, but I was willing to look past it because I like the way, fuck, what was that? Big bang. I was willing to look past it because I liked the effect so much. Then I discovered this bad boy. This is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. So I ended up with a sample of this out of a Mecca Beauty Loop box. And this is great. This is like Roller Lash. Everything that I love about Roller Lash, lengthening, really dark, volumizing. Um, it doesn't clump the lashes. It like separates them and makes them look really beautiful without it being like one or two fucking spider lashes um, you can layer it to get it even longer this is almost a bit like a false lash effect without false lashes so for me this mascara has now trumped this one i have an extra mini of this um, i got it in an advent calendar um, and when I pulled it out of the advent calendar at the end of last year, I was like, fuck yes, yes. Um, but I will buy this. I probably won't buy this again, but I do really like this. I love the wand on this as well. I think the wand is fantastic. Um, but yeah, the, mm, I like them both. I like them both. I won't say that I'll never buy this because maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know, but at this very moment in time, I feel like I would prefer to buy this one over this one. Oh my God, we're getting very close to the end. Thank God, because I am working up a sweat. Um, I wanna talk about some Too Faced liquid lipsticks. This was the Sweet Smell of Christmas set for holiday 2018. I love these. So they are the Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. The shades are Hot Buttered Rum, Cinnamon Bear, pumpkin spice and sugar cookie they're all perfect um even sugar cookie like sugar cookie looks like it could potentially be a bit of a concealer lip shade no it's not it's just beautiful it just looks beautiful the Too Faced uh melted matte liquid lipsticks the formula is really good if you go to the very very light end of the spectrum where they're potentially using um white pigment to help like lighten the color of the liquid lipstick or to the very very dark end of the spectrum things get a bit dry and crumbly and not great anywhere in between is fantastic so you've got a bunch of in between nudes here and a red and mm, they're so good these are so freaking good i wish i'd bought a second set of these i wish i had tried these soon enough like i wish i'd bought the pack and started using them straight away and gone wait these are amazing i need to get another one um because they're all limited edition shades i don't know i re i don't know if they'll bring back this exact collection next year or if they'll expand on it a little bit but i think this would have been a bit of a hit um and i think if they're smart they will try and capitalize on that next christmas but yeah they're great they are fantastic another great little uh liquid lip set that i got holiday this year is from nars so this was the underground velvet lip glide coffret so there's three mini shades in there you've got vandal Camden Girls and Banshee. Now, Vandal and Banshee, they're lovely. They're really nice, okay? This year, I discovered the Velvet Lip Glide formula and I really like it. It's fantastic. Uh, it is like a gloss, but you can see I'm wearing it now. Um, they do settle down to just like a, you know, a normal kind of finish almost like a cream finish but when you first put them on they have a bit of a glossy sheen um they wear so beautifully and they're so comfortable the thing that got me about this set is the color that i'm wearing now camden girls it's it's a perfect nude it's it's amazing i fucking love it and i love it so much and i was so obsessed with it 
that I went and bought another one of the mini sets just for this. In my collection, I did have another Velvet Lip Glide. I had Roseland, and this is a beautiful color. Like, it's gorgeous. It is a rosy nude. It's stunning on the lips. Fuck, man. They're so pretty. Um, but because I was sort of on this hunt for Camden Girls, which is limited to the mini set, I like I got this, so I'm like, alright, I've got I've got another mini Camden Girls. I can I can live, I can breathe, I don't have to stress about it. Um, but I was looking through their full collection and something kind of close was Zenon. So I picked up this one as well. Let me let me do an easy swatch here so I can show you. Okay, so this one here on this side is Camden Girls. And this one is Zenon. So Zenon is slightly more pinky, whereas Camden Girls is a bit more brown. And it's got some sort of grey-ish. Like, they're very subtle, but there's some grey tones in there. Um, and it's beautiful. It's stunning. I love it. It's fantastic. It's, like, just... Everybody give me your Cam Camden Girls. Stick them up and give me your Camden Girls. Because they are amazing. Um... Last thing from NARS that I bought this holiday season and I love. I've been talking so much, my throat is hurting. It's not good. Um, Sparked Audacious Lipstick in the shade Sheena. Man, this is such a pretty colour. It's a nude. Uh, they did a red, a purple and a nude. That is the nude. Fuck, man. NARS do nudes so well. So well. I'm obsessed. I'm a Take my money, Nars. Just take my damn money. The formula of these audacious lipsticks is fantastic as well. If you haven't tried them and you are a bit of a luxe lipstick junkie, what are you doing with your life? Go and check these out. They're freaking amazing. They're so comfortable. They wear really well and they have a beautiful color range these days, which is fantastic. I have heaps of these, the Audacious Lipsticks in the minis, because um, I buy the lip cofferets every damn year. Uh, but yeah, the, mm, Sheena, very glad I got that one because it's limited edition and I would have been pissed if I couldn't get that. Last product, oh my god. Um, last product probably won't come as a surprise to people because I've been raving about these for a long time. They are my stabby stabby weapons from Hourglass. Uh, so these are the Hourglass uh, Confession Ultra Slim Lipsticks. I have, I have a lot of them. Um, look, I, I have a lot. I have a lot of them. Um, some of them I got in like holiday packs. The pink ones I got from holiday packs this year. They are stunning. Um, most of the gold ones I actually purchased and I'm going to say this, I don't think this is all of them. Um, I feel like I'm maybe missing, I think I'm missing one, one or two, maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, these are just, I fucking love them. I really love these. The formula of these lipsticks is actually a little bit like the NARS Audacious lipstick formula. It's very rich, um, very smooth, and surprisingly long wearing for a cream lipstick. Uh, the application, because they're very thin, um, if you have thin lips, like many of us do, you've got really nice control and precision with the shape of that bullet. Um, yeah, I love these. They're fantastic. I know a lot of people who watch Beauty News this year um, and who even watch me finally, like, took the leap of faith and purchased an Hourglass Confession Ultra Slim Lipstick this year and tried them out and discovered how great they are. I think this is one of Hourglass's hero products. They are... They're so good. They're just... They're... Man... Alright guys, I'm done. I have said they're so good, it's amazing, oh my god, so many times in this video I think my lungs and my voice box are like trying to escape my body as I continue to speak. 
I was really hoping to do my skin video, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Maybe after a break. Um, yeah, I'm losing my voice. Good. <clears throat> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave comments down in the comments section. Anything here that you also love or you're potentially interested in trying. Um, or let me know what your like favorite products were from 2018. Whether they are new or old products, I don't care. Just let me know what your favorite makeup items were from 2018. And okay, I'm going. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my blockbuster fucking four hour main event feature length favorites. I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.